Hello YouTube peeps. Been a while since I've been here and made a video, but I just wanted to share some things with you and have a little fun. This is a piece I'm working on right now. I'm almost finished, but not quite. Um, it's called Elohim, and it is a collage with my painted papers and tapes. And so today, uh, what I want to take a little time out from working on that and paint some paper. It's been a long time. So what I'm going to be working on today, this is a piece of paper that I had started painting and really uh, you haven't missed anything. All I've, I've done is I put down a wash of color, just uh, butcher paper, and glued down some pieces of paper I had randomly, no thought of anything. Uh, what I want to do in this video is paint paper, but a little differently. I have uh, been uh, commissioned with Stencil Girl uh, to de design some stencils, and I have done that, and they are all for sale at Stencil Girl, and I will give you that uh, a website here on the screen. And these are the, the uh, stencils that I have designed, and I'm going to be using them. There's six of them, and you will see, uh, if you go to the website, you'll see all about them, so I'm not going to go into it here. But these are uh, stencils I've designed, and most of them are, are something, like this one is a vase of flowers. Uh, this one is a cat, scrappy cat. You can't, you can't see too good there, but anyway, uh, I, I want to show you how you can take pieces of the stencils and do other things with it besides a vase of flowers or a cat. So, here we are. I have, as usual, absolutely no idea what I'm going to do, but let's have some fun. Okay, so what I have done is just covered this with pieces of stencil. It just looks like a big mess, doesn't it? Let's zero down in here on it <clears throat> where you can see some of the designs that I have made using parts of the stencils. And, you know, you could leave it like this if you're going to cut it up and, and maybe make it into... A, uh, let me turn this around and see the bottom part. You're going to make it into a, uh, you know, collage paper because a lot of this, you know, the detail doesn't matter. But sometimes I like to take it a little further because that's what I do. And uh, 
I might want to use this, use this as a, a journal sheet. So if I use it as a journal sheet, I want it to have a little bit more pizzazz to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to go further. pretty much end it <clears throat> right there. Uh, this could go on and on and on and on. Uh, what I wanted to tell you is that <clears throat> aside from stenciling with the uh, sponges and stuff, the stencils, all the detail work I do with a one half inch flat acrylic brush. And this one is a master's touch, which isn't a real expensive brush, but to do this kind of work, because I use the edge, I use the tip, I use the flat, I use I do, did all this with this brush. You got to take care of them. So take good care of your brushes, wash them out good with soap and water, uh, lie them flat to dry, and take care of them. And you'll be able to do a lot with them. I have other brushes that are just junk brushes I put on my Mod Podge and things like that with. But my brushes that I'm going to paint with and do a lot of detail... Well, you got to take care of them. So, hope you've enjoyed this little piece of painted paper by Susie. See you later. Bye-bye.